Hey guys, thanks for joining me at Three Pound Fishing. I've got the owner and founder of the original fish formula with me, Dave Beth Shears. Thanks for joining me. Thank you, Matt. Thank you <laughs> for having me. I appreciate it. So we've got some really exciting stuff to share with you guys today. Uh, Dave uh, provided some new products today to, to kind of talk about, but let's go back to the beginning and let's talk about um, the original fish formula and how the company got started from the very beginning and then we're going to walk it all the way through bait pop and these exciting new products that you uh, brought today to the lake well that's uh that, that that's hard to describe in a few words but i'll do the best i can the company started uh actually out of uh, i was going to win every bass fishing tournament in the world I was going to be the best and the greatest fisherman there ever was. And when I started fishing, I, I incorporated, I, I started playing with scent, with fish, and I was like most fishermen, uh, they had a question, or it really hasn't been proved to them, that fish actually can smell. And I went through a period of three years before that I come to the conclusion that fish could smell. And what, what that broke it down for me and, and helped me understand it was the word of active, inactive, and dormant fish. Any given day, there's fish out there that can hit a worm that's got gasoline that you dip your worm in gasoline. Right, right. right. And that confused me. Yeah. Because I would throw it out there with gasoline on it and I would catch that fish and I'd say, scent makes no difference, I quit. Yep. I quit three times in three years. But something kept me going and I was able to understand about active fish and a dormant fish. A dormant fish is not going to hit a lure, it's not going to hit anything short of a stick of dynamite. Right. And that fish and the active fish is not into play with scent. It's the inactive fish that comes into play. And that takes about 30 to 40% of the fish any day you go out on the lake. So I give, as a scent product, uh, 30 to 40% of exposure to fish that has an opportunity to make a change of their mind, in their mind, do they want to hit that bait or do they want to not hit it? Right. So that's the premises, how the company started. Uh, as many of you know and watching, uh, Fish Formula uh, led, the, uh, led the area. I can remember me and Bill Dance going around the country educating people at s different seminars uh, that fish actually could smell and, and, and those guys would scratch their head and say, are these guys for real? And so it was that type of education that was needed. Now you go in a, a, a large department store and there's four foot section of scent baits. Right. And you know, Fish Formula has not been part of that in, four, in 53 years. Uh, I, I started 53 years ago, I sold the company about seven or eight years uh, into it uh, and eventually uh, those parties uh, have uh, passed on gone on to be with the Lord or right or wherever and uh, the other uh, it, it, it laid dormant and so uh, coming into the new company how our new product got involved uh, I've uh, long quit uh, fishing for bass fishing uh, you know I've done climbed that hill and crossed that road and and uh, my desire is crappie fishing i mean i am hooked on live scope and crappie fishing and it was natural for me to think what if and about two o'clock in the morning and i had been working on this process for about six months right and uh just as plain as i'm talking to you and i'm talking to your audience here uh god spoke to me and he said, boy, what you need to do is try this. I believed that it was from God. I went the next morning, I ordered the materials. I had them within a week, but I still waited three and a half weeks before I tested the product. Right. Could I see my bait better? I wanted it to work so much, not to sell, right. but I just, I didn't want, I didn't want God to, 
failed. <laughs> that's that's that that's honest truth. Well, I, do do me a favor and just sorry for interrupting you, but I want to I want to stay back in the in the in the history. I want to stay okay, back in the back. Sure. Talk about the crappie formulation and the success it had because at the time you didn't have bait pop before you didn't have paste. I've seen the old aerosol spray cans uh, with the crappie formulation, uh, the original fish formula mm -hmm, formulation mm -hmm, in there. Mm -hmm. um, talk about the the initial product that you guys developed and how successful it was back in the early 80s, right? Right, right. 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 So I want to keep you back there for right now before okay. we jump ahead and get to the bait okay. pop. Uh, that strictly is scent oriented. And uh, that, that's, all I, that's all that we had the ability to do. You, you, with LifeScope, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm jumping ahead, but with LifeScope, you're it's able exciting. to <laughs> look underwater and see what's right. happening in real time right you can actually see that fish you can see that you drop that jig down and you can see that fish take the lure actually back in the day back in the time period that you're talking about uh, we were limited uh, to what we could actually uh, determine what was going on underneath the surface of the water so that took some time and that took some dedication in developing the product and and how that the products were developed. Uh, and again, like I said, I was gonna be the number one fisherman in the country, uh, and uh, that was it. And what happened was at the end of the day, the Boy. guy in the boat that sniggered at me at the uh, beginning of the day said, what is that stuff? And I tried to hide it from my competitors, but they would see it during the day. And in the tournament, I would end up with eight fish or a limit of fish. Back then you could catch 10 bass, or pretty much around the country. Uh, and I would have more fish than my partner would have. And he would say, do you mind if I take this bottle home with me? <laughs> and of course, uh, I wouldn't say no. Uh, I fished so many tournaments and I had so many guys to say that. Uh, I can remember I, I own a drugstore. I'm a pharmacist by, by trade. Uh, I was making $350 a week and I was giving away more product than $350 a week. And I said, I have got to stop this. So that's how the company evolved. I, I, I was uh, probably selling four or 500 bottles a day. And, and that's a lot of, that's a lot of product. That's a to, lot of product. To, to an individual. But once that, uh, that I involved uh, the, the, the way of the world, uh, the advertising, the promotion behind the product, uh, it's 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 history. Uh, Fish formula uh, was uh, was a large success, and uh, a big part of uh, of what that I'm doing today uh, is based on what that I experienced back in the '80s. Uh, I always believe that a man's word and character is more important than any product you can tie on your lure or tie on your line, and so our product and our the past products and our future products uh, definitely have to meet that criteria. So, fish formula evolved. Live yes. scope came across, and all of a sudden now it becomes really important that we see our baits and we see our line and we see you know we want to see what's going on. We're learning so much, correct? So, uh, talk about the the development of bait pop. I know that you you had your epiphany in the evening, you, and, and you waited a couple of weeks before you developed it. Uh, walk us through that process and now all of a sudden we've got several pro uh, products that the original fish formula is offering. That's right. It's, it's, it, our products are scent related. All of them are scent related. Some of them are only scent related and some of them are bait pop related. In other words, they communicate to the fisherman that, uh, oh, here's my bait. And on a scale of one to 10, uh, I would say that uh, your jig is probably uh, a two or a three uh, that you can see. The further that you cast, if you do cast, the greater that a one thirty-second ounce jig is less seen than if you dunk it or drop it straight down below the boat. And in my form of fishing, casting is a big part of, of my fishing. So uh, my occupation and hobby again run together. And I thought, what if a man could come up with something uh, that would, uh, would, would make his bait uh, show up better? 
and I did like a lot of companies and a lot of fishermen have tried. Uh, they tried uh, uh, lead versus uh, brass versus uh, titanium versus different materials and that's what I was in the process of doing as an individual because that's what everybody else was trying and that's the way that they was trying it. But uh, it, it's funny how that God can, how that he works in mysterious ways. He provided the answer uh, to me uh, and today I, I honestly believe I, I don't I don't not think I would have got I would have even tried our active ingredient if uh, if it wasn't given to him, to me by by him so if you wouldn't mind can you go ahead and show us applying bait pop because I've seen a lot of videos I did a video myself I have my own technique let me see it from the creator of bait pop how you apply it to a swim bait so that we can all see it sure no problem uh, first of all, uh, a lot of you are, are probably wondering what is this blue string. This is actually something that that we kind of coined and come up with. It's a lanyard. You can put it around your neck, and it makes it very convenient to reach down and get the product and use it. You're all the time looking for it or reaching in your pocket. I don't want to do that. You know? I, he's absolutely right, because typically I'll keep all of my crappie formulations and my all of them in a cup holder. And they're far away from me, so I don't use them as much. But right. when I had this on today, right, super convenient. Right. This was awesome. Right. So uh, you just simply take the bait pop and apply it. I, I start on the head of the jig. And you don't have to apply a whole lot. It lasts a long time. It lasts longer than what that you would think. I was impressed. Uh, it, it stays on the lure. It is, uh, it is chemically made to stay on the lure. And surprisingly enough, it does. And you can see the bait pop on the lure. And you don't have to use that much, but I I do, okay? I know a guy. <laughs> and so I, I, I pry it liberally. But I can tell you this, uh, you say, you know, one of the most, most convenient, most uh, questions that is asked to me, or the one of the most, uh, frequent questions is asked to me is how long does that last? Mm -hmm. yep. And you know, I try to be honest, but if you're casting, it's not going to last as long as if you're soaking a jig. Right. But I can say honestly, in 15 or 20 minutes, when I look at this jig, it's not going to look the same, but it's still going to have some scent and some crappie formulation right. and also some bait pop on it. You know, one of the funny things is we, so we fished this morning with his grandson and he was using, I believe it was a, a, uh, an electric chicken or a monkey milk color. And you can actually change the color of your bait. And you made a great point today was you actually will add some weight to it as well. So That's right. if, if you want to get the, the, if you really want to cut hairs, you can actually get between a one thirty second and a one, I mean a one sixteenth just by adding a little bait pop. To That's it. right. And to the fishermen, you don't think that's that's a factor, but it is, especially if you're casting 30 and 35 feet. If you're soaking a jig or just dropping straight down, it's not so much a factor, but the wind, if the wind is blowing 10 or 12 miles an hour, you have that, and most of the time you are facing into the wind. I happen to smell that when I put that up to my yeah. nose, okay? <laughs> right. Have you ever been going down the road and, and all of a sudden as you're driving down the road that you go by a hamburger place and your windows roll down and you turn around and make a loop? That's just what happened to me right then. Yeah. I smelt the material. Yeah. Oh, I can smell it. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, so for sure. <laughs> the fish, the fish can too, guys. Yeah, that's uh, so that's the lanyard. Absolutely an A plus. I enjoyed that today. The efficiency of it really adds to it. So I wore it around my neck the whole day and was able to apply it throughout the entire day with ease. It was really nice. Yeah. Now you came out with these new colors, and I I have to admit, I'm very excited about them because again, I think they add another dimension to bait pop. And obviously the different scents. Let's talk about that because again, this company continues to grow leaps and bounds in what, 110 days or something ridiculous? I mean, yeah, yeah it's amazing, <laughs> isn't it? It's, it's amazing what the Heavenly Father can do. And, and you know, he, he can open doors, but actually not only is he opening doors, he's kicking doors down for us to talk about because really the main reason for this platform 
is all about him. Matt, you you know how I feel, and 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 I want my I want your viewers to know how I feel that that this was given to me by God, and I want to use this platform to tell people about God and about Jesus Christ. That's more important than catching the fish, guys. Uh, it, 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 it's 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 in my heart. That's that's what I want to give to you. This this is uh, is great, but it's not like what Jesus can give you. So if you don't know Him, you can know Him right now. All you got to do is say, "God, forgive me," and and it's done. Right, right there. Yeah, that's all you got to do. And I think you even have, is that on all your products? You do have, um, I know that on the website, you, 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 I mean, this is part of the, 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 pro, the part of the product. We, it's a big part of it. It is. Uh, we do have a couple of scriptures on our product and uh, it talks about uh, Jesus being the truth, the way and the life. And it also uh, makes a statement of, uh, I will make you fishers of men. And, uh, and that's important. Uh, guys, so anytime you get a chance to share Jesus with somebody, I don't care. It may be over breakfast or whatever. Just say he's been good to me, and and uh, somebody come along and water it after after you do. But uh, I, I really believe that uh, that that our total success is based on him. I I, I, I just believe it. I'm sorry. So let's walk through mm -hmm. the different the new ones that are coming out. Now these have just been introduced. Introduced. Sure. This is uh, a specific specifically formulated for the scent part for walleye. Uh, it has these active ingredients in it to make your bait show up, but a walleye fisherman is going to be like, uh, it's going to be more like a crappie fisherman. It's going to be very important for him because he throws it out using live sonar at 50, 60 feet and he hops that jig uh, back to him and expecting the fish to bite. Well, scent is a factor, but he's able to see that lure a lot better. And at 60 and 70 feet, uh, that makes a difference rather than 15 feet or 20 feet. Uh, so we, uh, number one is walleye. That's walleye. walleye. Kind of got a, uh, what color would you call that? That's a gold. That's a gold, okay. Mm -hmm. Uh, this product is does have bait pop in it, and it's called crawfish. Uh, crawfish was very big back in the day, uh, so it was natural for us to come with a crawfish. Uh, there's not anything uh, you 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 name a fish that don't eat a crawfish, and and uh, I don't know of one. Uh, but this is specifically this is going to be great for smallmouth bass. Uh, anything that eats is is one of our our, our top sellers, uh, bass, uh, crappie, uh, game fishing. There's one thing that I want to explain to the to the fishermen. You can't, and 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 manufacturers have done this. Uh, I'm not saying that I know more than they do, but I don't believe that you can make an attractant for one fish. Right. In other words, if it's an attractant, it's an attractant. Right. A bass is going to be attracted to it. A crappie is going to be attracted to it. A walleye is going to be attracted to it. Everything is going to be attracted to it. It gives off different smells. It's like the colors. Mm -hmm. You use blue one day. You use black one day. You use a, a paddle one day. You use a, a, a hair jig one day. It, you, you're giving off different wavelengths to the fish, and they make the decision. Right. The same thing with our products. You give off different wavelengths to the fish. That's what makes the difference. Gotcha. So you can use basically any of these on. You can. The, the idea is to have an arsenal in your boat with different colors, different options, different scents, and one day one might work better than the other, vice versa. Exactly. Gotcha. Exactly. Perfect. Here's your next one. This is uh, a product that's specifically uh, for fish that I have never fished for. Mm -hmm. Uh, but I do know what that uh, that that fish. Uh, I do know what fishermen like uh, to use. They like to use tuna, and tuna oil as a natural ingredient. And so this, I, I don't mind telling you that it smells like tuna, and it is for salmon and salmonoids. 
so it is a scent related product, uh, pink in color, which is a, a color that the salmon like. Uh, and also it ha does have bait pop in it. So those people that have forward facing sonar, the bait pop will, uh, th that jig or whatever lure they're using will actually show up brighter on your return. And it also has this natural scent that fish uh, adhere to. Well, I'll tell you right, right away, I know that probably one of the, my favorite colors I like to use on a lake is pink. And that to me screams bright pink. Yeah. And so I would be adding that to a monkey milk all day long. That's right. Which is my favorite color, so. Yeah. Here we go. Next one. This one is specifically formulated for ice fishing. Uh, and it is a bait pot product. Uh, and I can talk a little bit more about this product than I can some of the other products because that when that you take this product, you're looking at a six inch, eight inch area that you're charging in the water. In other words, you fish through a six or an eight inch hole and you sit there and dabble that jig. I've never been to ice fishing, but I watched them on TV, Matt. They actually come into that area. The fish actually come into that area of that hole straight beneath. And it's really amazing what that you can see now, but before you never saw. Right. And uh, that fish comes into that area. When he comes into that area, he's expecting something to smell fishy. Right. You're trying to imitate a jig or a minnow or something there for that fish. Or you're fishing with a live bait minnow. He's not expecting a foreign scent to be there. He's expecting a fishing scent. And that's what this is. This is fishy. Okay, it smells fishy. It has sparkles, uh, glitter, uh, a, a silver sparkle glitter. There's, have you ever taken a, a fish, a minnow, and put him in the water and watch if another fish hit him and, and all of a sudden the minnow will be gone but the, there are scales left? Right. That's what you have in the sparkle scales. So uh, not only is it uh, effective for bait pop, but it's very effective for the scent. It's scent specific. All right, your last one. The new, the last new one right now, mm -hmm. stink bait. What is that? <laughs> you don't want to smell it, okay? <laughs> it is exactly what it means. It is a stink bait. It is developed for catfish. And catfish really didn't need as much education as what that they- I like uh, the color though. Yeah. I do like the color. Yeah, blood color. Yeah. Uh, catfishmen uh, have been using stink bait even back in the 70s and, and 80s when I was testing my product. Uh, I realized that scent made a difference to catfish, but I did not know it made a difference to bluegill or crappie or bass or walleye or, or uh, musky or salmon or right. uh, whatever fish that you fish for. Uh, but I did know that there was, uh, but I'm not going to leave anybody out. Everybody has an opportunity to play. So uh, for the catfishmen, we made a, a stink bait uh, paste. I don't know at this point uh, if there is going to be uh, a bait pop catfish paste, but I can tell you this, there's one in, out here in my truck that's going to be tried that way. <laughs> And uh, I may, uh, I may uh, be able to see the catfish. I know you can see catfish. In fact, I've got some out that is being tested uh, today. I just don't know how big a market that's going to be, uh, but we'll see. Uh, that's, that's one thing that, uh, that our company is about. It, it's not about it. It's got to be a great market. But uh, uh, you as fishermen understand that our product can only be distributed if there is a, a, a real need for our product. But you can always go on our website. Uh, Matt uh, was involved in developing our website. Uh, you can just type in bait pop and it'll automatically pop up. Yep. So these products, as far as I remember, we are gonna be providing these in a combo, not all of them, but there'll be a combination of different flavors, colors that you might like. Uh, so know that you don't have to just pick one. There's gonna be actually combos out there that will kind of involve them all. That's correct. Right, and, and the combos are selling good and people enjoy the combos and they're getting more than, than one and it's a better deal. So it's a good place to start if you haven't tried Bait Pop or any of the products that you have, are offering right now. That's right, and I assure you that, that, uh, that, that Bait Pop and uh, Fish Formula is for real, guys. You yeah. need it. 
Well, I appreciate it. Appreciate the time, and I appreciate. I know that they appreciate the explanation of the products, the history, and what you're doing with this great company. I enjoyed uh, talking to the fishermen and talking to you, Matt, and, and spending the day with you in the boat. Yep. Thanks, guys, for watching. Stay tuned.